Hello everyone and welcome to my daily disaster news channel. The information in the video shows an incident on April the 12th, 2022 in Durban, South Africa. Can I do a surf launch? Flooding in Durban, South Africa was caused by heavy rain that did not subside for more than 10 days. I advise you to stay at home, no unnecessary moving around. It happened in the coastal province of KwaZulu Natal, where many people still have not moved away from the elements. Guys, this is the M4, N2 split, and south, northbound, yeah, all bad, this is by the old airport. airport. Some residents in the city of Durban stand on rooftops waiting for help, but local media report that only one helicopter is available to evacuate people. The main roads of the city are blocked and landslides have destroyed many houses. Blue Lagoon, 12th of April 2022. Severe weather conditions are expected to continue today in the areas around the municipality of Etaquini, which include the city of Durban. This year, South Africa is experiencing the La Nina weather phenomenon, which usually causes excess rainfall in the country and its neighborhoods. More rain is expected in southern KwaZulu Natal on Tuesday, according to the South African Weather Service, which advises citizens to stay away from flooded roads and bridges. Ten to seven. Major highways connecting South Africa's largest port to the commercial hub of Johannesburg and its east coast have been closed due to severe flooding. And the best part is, there's a tanker here. A tanker that got washed off in the river and landed in the ocean. A full tank. It is reported that access to the affected communities is extremely difficult. The Prime Minister is called on to immediately begin the process of declaring the province a state of disaster. Disaster response teams have already responded to a number of incidents, including the collapse of the wall in Atequini. Hope it slows down now. Guys, yeah, just another video here of uh, Stapleton is looking. As you can see, there's
inclement weather over the weekend has increased the risk of localized flooding across the province as heavy rains continue. It's now 16.01. This is the current situation on Pompeni River. Stay away from the Blundell Bridge. Continued torrential rain that occur when the ground is already saturated with rain increase the risk of flooding in formal settlements, lowlands and bridges. In the bottom of Sensor Road. Local disaster response teams continue to monitor high-risk areas across the province and residents experiencing any incidents should contact the appropriate district councillor or local municipality. Metropolitan Police spokesman said that bridges and the main highway along the Indian Ocean National Coast were washed away. Local media showed videos and images of shipping containers drifting through the water. The Durban Port Authority declined to comment the situation and said it would make a statement later. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep abreast of the most important changes on the planet. Well, well.